Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Magic the Gathering 2014 Multiplayer. I just started a new match against Innistrad Champion. I don't know what that means. But uh, we had a couple of hands in a row that I'm not entirely happy with. This is not amazing either, but I don't want to lose any more, hand or any more cards. So let's uh, see what we can do. What is this? Elixir of Immortality. Interesting. So she can tap two, gain five life. That's interesting. We do have uh, some cards here that are good. I wish I had some creatures that, that were low casting cost, but that's not the case. We have the Scroll Thief, which is three mana. Whenever I damage the opponent, I get uh, to draw a card. Bell Tower Sphinx, the two five. Whenever... A source deals it damage, they have to discard that many cards off the top of their deck. Play the forest, that's all we can do this round, so we'll go ahead and continue. And it looks like Innistrad Champion has a uh, blue-white at least. Going through the rest of the hand, we have the Fairy Invaders, a 3-3 flash flying creature for 5. We have the Fog, Giant Growth, and the Mind Spring, which will allow us to draw cards. So we pull the Forest. We can now finally play a creature. We're going to play the Scroll Thief. And it looks like the opponent is a little bit mana shorted. They only played two lands thus far and casted nothing last turn. So this is good for us. Nothing in the first main? Anything in second main? No. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to deal some damage here and draw a card. That would be great. So we're going to go ahead and attack. See if we can get a free card here. Looks like we do. Excellent. And we got the forest. All right, so um, not a great hand to start with, but we are benefiting from the opponent's lack of mana, so that's great. Now they do have three mana out, so something's bound to happen this turn. What is it going to be? A 1-3 Flying Vigilance. So, I will not be able to draw any more easy cards off of him. But, fortunately, we did get the Sphinx. I'm debating whether to play the Sphinx or the Recluse. Um, I think I like the Recluse, or the Sphinx, rather, just because um, next turn... Well, you know, I don't know why I picked it, honestly. <laughs> I just like having the big blocker that can get rid of some of his cards. Oh, what's he going to pacify? Alright, so... Our Sphinx is pacified. Not so bad. We have the Recluse in our hand next turn to play. He's going to attack, and I'm going to take one. In fact, I'm glad that it was the Pacifier and the Sphinx. I'd rather have the Recluse so that I can actually eliminate creatures rather than simply uh, blocking them. So we do have the, the wish, did Gin of Wishes. Um, and we have the Fairy Invaders. Wow, we have so many choices. Uh, I think that I like the Recluse out. And we can Giant Growth if we need to, in order to kill that and still keep. Uh, skip attack? Or should we attack and kill it? Um, I'm debating whether or not to attack with the Scroll Thief and try and kill it. He can counter, though. So I think I'm going to skip. I don't want to risk wasting my Giant Growth when he can counter it. I'd rather wait until he's all tapped out to do that. Okay. 
And he does have some things to think about, it seems like. He still does not have another land to play. So this is going very badly for him, it seems like. He's going to attack. I will block with the recluse. Oh, ha! It is my fault because I did not click block. Sorry, sir or ma'am. I did not mean to waste your time like that. Excellent. Perfect. That could not have gone better for us. So next turn, hopefully we'll get another card from the... Oh, he's going to cast another one. Awesome. Oh, well. So we can play our island now. And what do we like? I like... He no longer can counter. So I think I'm going to go ahead and attack with the recluse and the scroll thief. We can save them with a fog or with the giant growth if we absolutely need to, but... And I think... Uh, no. We'll go ahead and not kill that. Because we are now going to cast... Actually, we're going to wait. I'm going to cast the Fairy Invaders on his turn. I think that I like that. Is 18 to 19. Still very close game. Will he attack? Yes, he will. I will go ahead and cast the Fairy Invaders and see if he counters it. He does not. So we'll go ahead and block with it. Oh, he paused. Okay. So he's going to do something else here. We'll block. We can steal Giant Growth if we have to. Pauses again. He can no longer block. If he lost flying, I'm not sure how he was still able to block. That was confusing. Oh well. So next, either the beast or the djinn. Uh, I think the djinn. Simply because... Uh, I need a flying creature to block that. And we'll continue. And I think, again, I'm going to attack with the Scroll Thief and the Recluse. And I'm not going to Giant Growth the Scroll Thief in order to kill the Griffin. And the reason is I want to save it to protect the... To protect the Gin of Wishes if I need to. And continue. 17 to 19. This is looking very good for us, but uh, he has five, six mana now, so some important things are going to start to come out. What's this do? Uh, whenever a blue spell or island enters the battlefield, he gets one life. And what's the plan for attacking? Anything? Nothing. Okay. That's that. Alright, so we can get another recluse out, which is great. Or we can do the Balrog, or what? Balroth, Baloth. Um, what do I like here? I think I like the 4 4. But that is not. That does not allow me to, to Giant Growth or Fog anymore. He counters it. Okay. Fair enough. And I will now go ahead and attack with everything that I can. And he's going to have a choice between taking 5 damage or letting the uh, Scroll Thief get come, go through and getting me another card. 
He blocks the scroll thief. He takes five damage. Or she. Down to 13. And continue. 19 to 13. We're still in a very, very good position here. What's coming up? 48 cards left in his deck. He has a lot of cards. White Knight, first strike, protection from black. Not too intimidating as of yet. He burns his Elixir of Immortality in order to get 5 life. And I am likely going to take 1 damage here. No. I'm not sure why he didn't attack. Alright, so I can play the Jin ability and cast a random spell. Or I can cast this Recluse. I think I like casting the Recluse and drawing two cards. Yeah, I think I'll draw two cards. And that'll still allow me to Giant Growth if I need it. Boom, clone. Very good. Continue. And I will be attacking with the f Scroll Thief and the Sphinx. Sphinx and the Djinn. And I think I'll actually go ahead and attack with the Recluse as well. Since I can now sacrifice one. Choose the order to deal damage. We are going to deal damage to your flyer first, I think. Oh no, I didn't. Oh no. Wrong card, oops. Have a little friendly chat. <laughs> oh well. What does this nonsense do? Tap two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during the controller's untap phase. Okay. So it looks like I'm set to take three damage here. Not the end of the world, but I really wanted to click giant growth rather than fog. So that was a dumb mistake. Yep, I take three. No, I take one. And that's the end of his turn. Rampant growth. Um, that's going to be useful. And what do we want to do here? I think, well, let's first attack, actually. And let's see what he does with this. And we're going to deal damage to the flyer first. And then the white knight. And we're going to Giant Growth and see if he counters. He does not. So he still takes one. He loses his flying creature. And I have six mana, so I can do the Rampant Growth. Get another land. And still cast the Balrog. See if he counters that. He does not. Everybody untaps next turn. And let's see what he. Oh, he gives up. What happened? Come on, stay till the end, guy.
All right, so we play our forest. We clone our djinn. And just because we don't have anything else, any other cards in our hand, we use the djinn's ability. We cannot play that, so we discard it. And I'm going to go ahead and attack with everything that I can. Oh, I should have attacked with the djinn, too. That was stupid. Oh, well. Wait. Oh, first strike. Dumb. Another stupid mistake. Oh, well. Even despite my bumbling, uh, I think we have this pretty much in the bag. And again, just because we have no other cards in our hand. Let's go ahead and use the ability. Alright. Attack, 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 and yeah. We will not be using the Recluse this time. I do get a card, and it's a land. And our beast becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Beautiful. He's down to four life. He's, what is he unsummoning? One of my djinn. Wouldn't unsummoning this djinn have killed it because it was a clone? Maybe I don't understand that properly. Who knows? And it doesn't really matter. Let's just do this again for fun. He's dead this turn. I will not cast it. And attack with everything. There it is, guys. Another successful victory. I'm thinking I might do one more video with this deck. I do enjoy it. But after that, we're going to move on to a new one. So next time, I will uh, finish off with this deck, and then we'll come up with a new one. So that'll be it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.